Hey there! So in this video, I want to I'm going to show you how to convert your existing React app into an Electron app. So right now, this is my uh, Electron app. I just want to give you a bit of a demo of what I've been working on. Uh, okay, so that's that's about it. So let me give you the instructions. I probably should make that screen. I wonder if I can make the screen a little bit bigger by doing Control Plus. Oops. Yep. Yeah, I can make it bigger. Anyhow, let's pull up my instructions. Uh, so you want to install Yarn. Like you can do things with npm. To install, but I just install yarn. Make your life simpler. Just install yarn onto your onto your um your program. So you just have to um, you can go online and you can take a look at it. But you just have to copy and paste this and just go into the command line. Uh, here. Let me just see if I can. Uh, this closed. Yeah, right here. Ah, it's getting a bit of. Let's close that. Open another terminal. And you just, uh, that's not what you want. You want to just copy and paste all this here. So copy and paste and you hit enter. And uh, make sure you're doing this in your project folder. My project folder is called Tracker. And I'm not going to install because I already installed it. Uh, so I'm going to skip that. But yeah, install Yarn. Obviously, you want to install Electron. You want to install concurrently. That allows you to run two processes at the same time. Because ideally, you want to run Electron and your app at the same time. And wait on, meaning that uh, it has to wait for your app to start before it starts Electron. And I forgot. I don't know what this one. Cross environment. I think it's going to do something with uh, um, your browser. Obviously, you're going to want to build your app. That's the whole point of using Electron so you can build your app. So you want to, uh, here, yarn add Electron Builder. So you want to add that to your script. And then once you have all that done, um, what you want to do is you want to go to your public folder. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. Again, all this is going to be in the description. And there we go. So this is my public folder here. And obviously you want to have your icons, PNG and favorite icons, all those icons in there. But what's important is you want to have this main JS file. And I'll talk, I'll talk about the preload later. So you have your main JS. Let me just close this. So this is my main G JS. Just close that. And uh, basically, you just copy and paste. I'm going to put this in the description. All you have to do is copy and paste this. I'm going to talk about each one of them uh, really quickly. So uh, this is all standard. You give your title. You give your frame. Say frame true. I forgot what this means. Uh, does, but you can just frame it true. You give your icon path. I have this path join. Like if you import this path here, you can actually use this uh, this function path join, or you just build this just do your path manually. So I have path join. Dir uh, name is the current directory of this file, and it is this dot dot means go back one, and then go to build, and then icon. So that's where I want my icon to be. Just search for my icon in the sort of build folder. You can do your height and width here. This is sort of this all this is optional maximum height and width. Um, I put it there for for whatever sake. Background color white, and this is what's so sort of important here is web preferences. You want uh, node integration true, uh, world safe execution true, and context isolation true, and then you may want to have a preload file. Preload file allows you to communicate between your Electron app and your system computer. So uh, I'll talk about that a little bit later. These other options, this is common out. It's basically, when you're building your app, you may want to have this win remove, so it removes the toolbar. And uh, over here, the open tools. You want when you're building your app, you want to like comment this out because uh, you don't want that toolbar to show up on your app. So this is uh, so you can comment this out, and then you would remove the comment here. So here, win load URL. Like there's other ways of doing this, but I know I noticed that win um, load URL does that has the best job. And I just have a ternary operator saying that when it's true, uh, load it from local host, and then when it's false, load it from the build folder because you're gonna build your app, and it's gonna create a build folder, and it's basically gonna basically run the app through the build folder. So when you're gonna make your Electron app. You wanna you wanna first build your app and then you wanna put this the path to the build. So right now I have it true because I'm not I'm not building anything. But when you're building it, turn this to false, or just remove this all together and have your win load go directly to this 
to the to, to your build folder. Okay, so uh, anything else I need to talk about? Okay, so all this is just pretty standard. You can find this online, and yeah, that's about it. Okay, so another important part to remember is you have to go your to your um your package JSON uh file here. There's a couple things you need to do. Uh, obviously, you want to put a description. You want to give the name. You, this is all optional here, but private, you want to make that true. And this is sort of important here uh, because you, you want to be able to find your uh, your main JS. So my main JS, I put that in my public, public folder. Again, up here is my uh, public folder. My main JS is there. So you want to put a direct directory to your public folder from your root directory from where this the, the, where your entire project is so you're at the main public main js and then you want to put a home page so that's where your uh your app will start when you start your app that's where it'll go directly and so that's so, so these two parts are important here and just name i know people other people name it different things but you know keep your life simple like if you use create react app right you don't want to change anything right you want to leave everything pretty much the same so um yeah so just keep everything saying, just name it, uh, call it main, right? You don't want to make it more any difficult than it is. Okay, so originally this was dependencies. I noticed it was screwing up and it didn't work. So I changed the name here to div dependencies, right? And I moved all my div dependencies. I moved, I moved everything in here, right? So all my um, platforms are here. So this is something you may want to do. Change the name to div dependencies and it, everything should work. And over here... Uh, obviously, you're going to have to um, add these lines. This will be in the description. Let me talk about these lines here. So concurrently is basically running two things. You want to run two things at the same time, right? You need this sort of escape. Um, uh, this is escape and quotation marks. So you had to escape the quotation mark there. And basically, you're running, and this is cross environment none. That's, that's one process. This is one process here. And the two processes you want to run at the same time is yarn start, and this is the the that the this is just just yarn start. You want to run this process, and this is the, and this is the end of the quotation. This is a, another another escape quotation, and yarn electron start, and this is just a bunch of uh, this escape quotations. So uh, yarn start will basically start this because if you if you type an ND, uh, N, um, npm run it starts this so this yarn start is the exact same thing so it runs it essentially runs your React app here right for this yarn start and this yarn electron start is basically over here uh, this this uh, this one here so it runs this one here and it basically it does the wait on this so it waits on this it waits until it waits until your electron app starts once it starts then it's going to run electron so when you type in electron e right when you type electron e it actually just starts electron alone by itself right but you want to run electron and your app at the same time so that's why you have this uh this command here and when you build your app uh well everything here is pretty much standard main build you want to main you want to build your main js so just copy everything down as you see it. Um, so some other things you may want to do is this build, uh, uh, this build right underneath your scripts. You may want to, you may add all this build stuff. I'm not quite sure what to do. You have to give your, your app ID. I just gave my app ID. I just named it com electron whatever. The, what what it sort of uh, recommends. I gave all these ones here. The, these are all your dependencies or, or where you're looking for your files. And um, yeah, everything is pretty much standard. I'm gonna put this again in, in the descriptions. In description, and let's see. Is there anything else? Oh yeah, development. See over here, I, I didn't want to erase anything, so I just changed the name to D the de de uh, dependencies. But I just kept it there just in case. Same thing here. I was actually doing something with capacitor. So, but essentially, all your main things. Actually, ideally, you want to move all this stuff into div dependencies. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm, I'll do that later. Actually, right now it's working fine. This this dependency here is only if I'm uh if I'm only tr trans making into a an Android app, which I which I'm trying to do. But for, if you're if you're using Electron, you want to make sure all your main dependencies are underneath here div dependencies. Oh, also, well, something that will screw up your app is let me just take a look down here. App app here it is. 
I'll tell you what screwed up my app. I had a long time trying to figure this out. Okay, there's a, you know your browser. Like obviously, if you make a if you make a complicated app, you're gonna have this routing uh sort of thing, right? Use hash router. Do not use uh browser uh browser root. Do not use that. It will screw up your. It will you know it won't build, right? So use instead use hash router. I cannot emphasize that enough because I spent an entire day trying to figure it out. And I couldn't figure it out, and I just try, I just changed it, and now it works. Okay, okay. So one last thing, I'm talk about this preload. So if you want to, like, if the whole point you want to use an Electron app is so you can connect to your uh, your computer. So let me just um, go back here. I want to go to back to my uh, packages, so you can see my packages. So if you want to start your Electron, you want to do yarn. Uh, electron store just to start the server it's just the server itself so I'm gonna do over here I'm gonna go to my terminal where's my terminal here you go and again let's go back to here if I want to start it I would type in yarn and then electron colon serve you can call it anything I just call it, I just call it whatever they would recommended serve so whatever is whatever is here, and then you just start that. It runs. So waits for my app to start, and then it runs Electron. So here it is. So it's starting, and I want you to notice something here. Um, I'm gonna type in Windows API. Like you're not gonna have API, and then I type in Win. See this here, uh, Win and API. I made that. So I made that available here, and I'm gonna show you how I did that. So let me just close. Uh, let me just make the small. Uh, let me just uh, put that down there. Okay, so this uh, preload. Where's my preload? Should be in my. Um, here it is. So you may want to make a preload file, right? Put that also in your uh, public folder. And what you're going to have to do up, up here, it's context bridge, require Electron, and then you may want to access your um, your FS, your system directory, because I guess it's the whole point of using making a Windows app is so you can access your computer files. Because if you use because a, a React JS would not allow you to, to use the FS module, so this is the way you can use the FS module here. So you need context bridge. These are just some functions you don't need to know the, about them, but here. This is sort of the important part. You do context bricks expose in main world. And I here I have API, I, I told it to be API. So when I type in Windows API, so if I I'll go back to my React app and I go here, Windows, right? And if I type in API, API is actually referring to, uh, it's referring to this here, right? So it goes, uh, goes right here, referring to the. I have lin and API in part, and then over here after this colon is just a function. Here, and uh, this MSG, here this uh, MSG is basically the variable I pass in through here, through the. Um, so if I type in um, Windows API, win, and then I can pass in uh something like a message here. If I pass in like um hello, whatever, right? What happens is that it uh it it looks basically it, go, it looks at this function here. It actually runs this function. So it runs uh this one oh it runs this function here, a pen file, because if you use the FS module and it's basically appending this MSG onto this file in my computer. So that's sort of how you can, I'll put this in, I'll, again, I'm going to put this in the link description so you can see the code itself. And over here, if you don't want to put a function, you just use, a, you can actually just put, that's actually just another one. You can put a, val a value if you want. Um, I think that's about it. I think in my next video, I'm going to be talking about Android, how to, how to uh, compile it, how to make your app on Android. But uh, yeah, that's it for this video.